<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And Happy New Year! Oh, 2019 <laughs> flew by, gone. 2020 is here, and who else is glad that the eating season is over? <sighs> I mean, I don't know about you, but for me, Halloween was easy. <laughs> easy. But then there's this like carbalicious, like, haze right around Thanksgiving. Yeah, I think my keto blacked out then. But by Christmas, I was exponentially better than you think. I think there was some cookies somewhere, but other than that, we're good. All in all, we made it, and I am proud of us. So now, back on track, and I have a recipe that's a, easily a go-to for you, and it tastes exactly as its name suggests, egg roll in a bowl. Welcome to my kitchen. All right, we're getting back on track, so let's just get into the recipe. All right, so the first thing that we wanna do is prep our veggies. And I have a half a head of cabbage here, and I just wanna give this a thin slice. Now, if you want, didn't wanna use just cabbage, you can also substitute the cabbage for a coleslaw mix. You want about four cups of a shredded coleslaw mix. And right, we're gonna set this aside, and then I'm also going to slice about one fourth cup of green onions. All right, and we're gonna set that aside as well. Okay, right. and then in the large pot, we're gonna heat about one tablespoon of oil. And of course, you'd wanna use something like avocado oil, coconut oil, or extra virgin olive oil. And over medium heat, we're gonna get this nice and hot. And then to this, we're gonna add four cloves of garlic, minced, and then about three tablespoons of fresh ginger, also minced. Now, if you don't have any fresh ginger, you can also use some ground ginger. You're gonna use about three-fourths of a teaspoon. All right, and we're sauteing this until it's fragrant. All right, and then to this, we're gonna add one pound of ground pork, and you can also substitute the pork for beef. Then, of course, we're gonna season this with some S&P, and we're just gonna brown this for about seven to 10 minutes. Beautiful. Now we're gonna reduce our heat to medium, and then to this, we're gonna add our cabbage or the coleslaw mix. And then we're also going to add coconut aminos. Now, Coconut aminos. It's a dark, rich, salty, and slightly sweet sauce made from coconut sap. And it resembles a light soy sauce, but it's soy-free and gluten-free, which makes it a great soy sauce replacement. Now, aside from that, it's got low glycemic index, or GI, and it's packed with minerals, vitamin C, and B vitamins. And the glycemic index is just a relative ranking of carbohydrates and foods according to how they affect the blood glucose levels. So the lower the GI, the more it won't affect you getting kicked out of ketosis the more you know. And then we're gonna stir this to get everything nice and coated. Beautiful. Now we're gonna cover this and let this cook for about five to seven minutes until the cabbage is nice and tender. Beautiful. Now, we're gonna remove everything from the heat and then to this we're gonna stir in about two teaspoons of toasted sesame oil and our green onions. Just give that a really good mix. and you're done. There you have keto Chinese deliciousness in a bowl. I hope you get inspiration from my kitchen. Like and subscribe to come back for more and comment below if you're definitely gonna give this egg roll in a bowl a try, if it's gonna be your new go-to, and also let me know how you did during the eating season. Did you do good? Did you do bad? You can tell me whatever you want, but Santa will know, and he'll check it twice. Just saying. Anyways, you can connect with me on any of my social media listed below. Thank you, Bunches, for being here, and I'll catch you back here for more deliciousness.